more women are being diagnosed with breast cancer at a younger age. In fact, 11% of all new breast cancer cases are in women under the age of 45. As a result, for some patients, pregnancy and cancer come at exactly the same time, but there are treatment options that keep mom and baby healthy until after the delivery. For Sarah and Thomas Ferris, the best end to a long day is time with baby Ruby and big sister Hazel. Last year, doctors determined a lump in Sarah's breast was cancer. She was only 28 and eight weeks pregnant with her second child. With me being in my first trimester, everyone suggested terminating the pregnancy, and that's not something I was willing to do. Washington University medical oncologist Michael Naughton says it is possible to cure cancer and have a healthy baby. Beyond the first trimester, we actually can offer many of our standard treatment options, including chemotherapy and surgery. Dr. Naughton prescribed two drugs, cytoxin and adriamycin, for six rounds of chemo. So we focus on drugs that have a reasonably proven track record in terms of not being adverse for the baby. At 34 weeks, doctors induced Sira. Little Ruby was small, four pounds, 12 ounces, but otherwise born healthy. Two weeks after I delivered, I went in and had a double mastectomy with reconstruction surgery. Sarah is getting stronger every day, and so far, she's cancer-free. I feel great. I'm running after my two little girls, and I couldn't ask for anything more. It's a happy ending there. Meantime, as is the case with many cancer patients, Sarah will continue with another chemotherapy drug for many months more just to ensure that the cancer does not return.